The second problem, or the green problem, follows the same format of the first example, so we'll walk through the answers a little more quickly than before. But again, if you have any questions, please contact me during online chat hours or during in-person office hours, or you're always welcome to come to any ART 1210 in-person lab hour. Every Thursday is optional for extra help. So even if you're in the online class, if we're offering an in-class version, please come on Thursdays if you need help. Question 29. How many 8.5 inch flyers will fit out on your press size sheet? First, you have to be able to recognize what the press size sheet is. And for our problem, it's 23 by 35 inches. We'll divide that by 8.5 by 11. Then we'll switch the bottom value as if we're turning the sheet of paper 90 degrees to see if we can fit more out that direction. Option 1 comes out to 2.705 by 3.181. We keep the whole numbers, so we'll multiply 2 times 3 to get 6 out on that sheet of paper. Option 2 comes out to 2.09 times 4.117. We'll keep the whole numbers and multiply 2 times 4 to come out with a total of 8 out. Since 8 is larger than 6, we will say the total number out for question 29 is 8. Question 30, how many press size sheets are required for this job? The formula is quantity divided by number out. We are printing 16 million flyers. We can fit eight flyers on each sheet, which means we need to purchase a total of two million sheets of paper or two million PSS or press size sheets. From there, knowing how many sheets of paper we need to purchase, we can calculate the weight of that stock so that we can then calculate the price of the stock. The formula is the size of your paper that you're purchasing, which is 23 by 35. We are purchasing 80 pound text weight stock. The basic size of text weight stock is 25 by 38. 23 times 35 is 805 inches squared. 25 times 38 is 950 inches squared. When you divide 805 inches squared by 950 inches squared, the correct answer is 0.84736842 depending on how many decimal places your calculator is you might come up with a slightly different answer but when you round to two decimal places everyone should get the same answer okay column two two million sheets of paper divided by 500 is 4,000 we'll bring that all the way down and then we'll continue bringing down the 80 pounds or the basis weight of our stock 0.84736842 multiplied by 4,000 multiplied by 80 equals 271,157.889 pounds. When you round that, it should come out to 271,157.89 pounds. Paper will always be rounded to two decimal places. Do not get this confused with ink. Ink, we have to purchase whole pounds. Paper, we have to purchase whole sheets. So if you purchase a whole sheet of paper and it doesn't write an entire pound, we're going to have a decimal. Okay. And last but not least, to calculate the cost of this stock, we will take the weight, 271,157.89 pounds, divide it by 100, and multiply it by the 100 weight price. We divide by 100 because the price over here, 61.25, is the price for every 100 pounds of paper. 271,157.89 divided by 100 moves the decimal place over two places to the left. So you should have come up with 2,711.5789 pounds multiplied by 61.25. Comes out to a total of $166,084.201 or when rounded, $166,084.21. If you were able to get all of these questions correct, please move on to the next video to calculate the ink coverage pounds and cost for problem number two.